the ergonomic, the light, the image quality. I don't know, but there's something special about the X Pro 2 when you're using it in the street. The year 2023, it's the comeback of the travel season. Protocols have been lifted. Now, it's time to get back on track. Why the X Pro 2 relevant camera for this 2023? This is my top five reason why you need to consider the X Pro 2 as your travel camera. Reason number one is the hybrid viewfinder. Best of both worlds. Uh, you can use it as a same as a DSLR view what's the lens in frame without turning on the camera and you can also enable the electronic viewfinder like a TV screen inside the optical viewfinder when you enable it it covers the glass then a screen will appear so totally screen will appear with that then it will show the current exposure of the sensor current shutter speed the aperture then you can see what's the sensor is capturing that's the advantage of the electronic viewfinder but for the optical you can still use a light meter there's also a built-in light meter visible on the details of the optical viewfinder so that's the reason number one if you if you have doubt uh, shifting from the SLR to a mirrorless you can consider a X Pro 2 camera which offers best of both worlds it's a hybrid viewfinder then one thing is the best experience using an X Pro 2 is the viewfinder is not in the center unlike uh, like the DSLR it's in the center so when you use the camera you use it like this so your nose is not pointed in the LCD or no smudge in the LCD problem okay so that's the reason number one why you should consider the X Pro 2 series. Reason number two is the Fujifilm sensors are amazing. Even if the, it's not a full frame sensor, but the images coming from the camera is stunning. Yes, with the help of the film simulation because um, Fuji have been in years developing film simulations and they try to integrate it with the digital age you can produce stunning jpegs out of the camera straight to your phone social media if you want to use this camera for a social media yes yes absolutely this is an amazing option third is the ergonomics yes uh, this is by the way uh, my camera has an l bracket so this is an accessories so it makes the grip much thicker than before default is just small grip but with additional L grip uh, yeah it's very very comfortable comparing the ergonomics the, with this uh, including the thumb rest and the L bracket it makes it very solid and the build quality for the X Pro 2 is weathered sealed and also it, it has a aluminum body so very great for your travel needs and also uh, the buttons are secure so yeah and the 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 set of the with the d-pad the there are two scrolls one at the back one at the front and you can see at the top you also have a shutter button the com exposure compensation and a shutter button which has a the on and off this red is additional from my camera and also the thumb grip and also the this has also a joystick uh, four-way joystick and also the d-pad that's why this camera with the recent upgrades from Fujifilm cameras uh, they eliminated controls that's why X Pro 2 has a very good and considering X Pro 2 has a fixed LCD, the X Pro 3 has a tilting LCD and a small, which has I've seen in the internet has many many issues encountered with that LCD. With if there's a moving part in your LCD, then there might be a problem 
in the future because of the flex cable is very very sensitive especially if you keep it moving around okay then the access port it has a mini USB uh, small mic jack so this camera is actually photographer oriented camera capture a minimal clips around less than a minute clips for this camera but it still produced a great video but this is a more on a photographer camera if you want a hybrid camera or the video you might considered another model but for the picture taking then it produced a very very good result amazing result right guys then the third is the lens option you have uh, since this is an X Pro 2 series uh, you have a option 12 interchangeable lenses uh, for the lens I have is the this is the 16 mm 1.4 from Fujifilm amazing lens very great for low light especially at 1.4 and the bokeh yeah we'll have another video reviewing this lens and also I have a third party a Zeiss uh, 32 to it which is a very wonderful portrait lens from Zeiss and Zeiss lens are one of the best in the market although it's expensive but it produced stunning images yeah very wonderful bouquet from these images okay so that's the fourth reason why you need to consider the X Pro 2 the lens variety the fifth reason is the size aside from the ergonomics and the build quality the size it's much smaller than the DSLR and it's much lighter than the DSLR and still it produced a stunning images battery life worth mentioning but the camera has also a small battery which if you're traveling a lot I would recommend buy a lot of this battery so this battery uh, I took around uh, 400 shots for a single charge battery but also you can purchase the, the different charger which you can charge in a power bank in which more convenient and more optional well you already depleted you can put it in your bag charging in your bag using a power bank aside from the AC adapter you can also charge these batteries in a power bank so there you go those are my top five reasons why I still use the X Pro 2 as my camera this 2023. The ergonomic, the light, the image quality, the battery life, the hybrid viewfinder. I don't know, but there's something special about the X Pro 2 when you're using it in the street. It's not more. Uh, it's a very small camera so the subject I mean, doing street photography is not so invasive so that's why people are already considering this camera it's light also the, the sensor and the focusing it's very very okay if you're looking for an uh, eye and face detection it has a feature like that with a recent upgrade let me know what you think about the X Pro 2 series cameras and if you're using one, I'd like to hear from you and comment down below. Thank you guys and see you. This is the X Pro 2 series camera and I love using this this 2023. It's one of my go camera 